<laughs> nice little fireworks right there at the end. Hey guys, thanks for joining me today. We're gonna do something super fun today. Uh, this will be episode number three in our fire starter series. Uh, and today we're gonna start a fire using nothing more than sodium metal. It'll be a ton of fun, so let's check it out. All right, so basically what I've got here, we've got our sodium metal um, that I bought in this uh, this jar right here. And I've also got just a tray full of sand. Uh, that way we don't burn anything else up while, uh, while we're checking this reaction out. All right, so there's our sodium metal. Um, I'm just gonna be careful here and pull a piece out. All right, so let's go ahead and grab a piece of sodium out of here. Um, hmm, that's a bit of a problem right there. Okay, well, I ought to be a little more creative in how to get the sodium out, so I'm just going to scoop it up here, see if we can't pull it out very carefully. There we go. Let's get that oil back in there. Oh, no. All right, I'm going to have to do this a different way. All right, there we go. So we got a little chunk of sodium out here just there and I'm gonna just cut a little piece off of it because I don't want to go too crazy uh, sodium super easy to cut it's a very soft metal and you can see just how shiny it is inside after we've cut it so we're gonna put that piece back because we don't really need whoops, all that much let's get back in there <clears throat> and then this is the little piece that we're gonna use of sodium uh, so now I'm just trying to dry some of that oil off of it. We have to keep it stored in oil because it's super reactive with the uh, uh, with oxygen uh, and so uh, just the water, the oxygen that's in the water in the air can cause it to combust. So we'll just drop this onto our sand like so. Kind of wipe my fingers off here, got a little oil on them. There we go. And uh, now it's just a matter of sitting back and relaxing. So this is clearly going to take a long time. Uh, so what we can do, I've got a, just a pipette dropper here full of uh, water. And if we just add a single drop very carefully. really not seeing that happen. Oh, it's totally molten. Look at that, it's all liquidy looking. That's pretty impressive. Try just a little bit more water here. And uh, so yeah, that's apparently not gonna be a thing that we can make it react just with the water in the air, so. Okay, so what we're doing now, um, it failed pretty miserably just trying to get the sodium to react with the uh, water in the atmosphere. Not humid enough, or uh, just maybe I'm too impatient. I'm not really sure what the deal is. So what we're doing now is just adding a little bit of water to our pan. And in fact, I think that's a bit much. I'm gonna pour some of the excess water off. All right, so now I'm very confident at this point that we'll be able to get an actual fire started just by dropping a piece of sodium on here. Um, our sand is wet now, which will uh, make things a little easier for us. So, so I'm just going to reach in here and stab that same piece we had before, hopefully. There we go. And we'll put it right out here on our paper towel and slice off another little sliver of it. Ooh, come back here. <laughs> Don't want to uh, have an accident. Oops. Uh, so there we go, get a nice little chunk of sodium, and uh, again, you can see how shiny that is uh, right after we've cut it. Pretty shiny metal. It's also very soft, too. It's, uh, in fact, so soft you can bend it with your fingers. Uh, pretty cool. Uh, all right, so we have our sodium at this point. 
Uh, and basically what we're going to do is we're just going to drop it on top of our sand and we should get a very nice combustion that starts uh, as the sodium reacts with the water here. <laughs> nice little fireworks right there at the end. Uh, that's pretty cool. Let's make it happen. The sodium kind of popped out of the beaker and didn't land on the uh, inside of the tray. It's over here on the countertop. And uh, so even just little traces of sodium that are left after a reaction can cause a fire as well. If we dribble a little bit of water on that, should react yeah it's definitely reacting it's just there we go we got a little fire uh, sometimes you just kind of got to spray the counter down a little bit yeah oh goodness oh my that's pretty epic we got a heck of a little explosion out of that guy uh, and it was just a little piece of sodium that was still laying on the counter. So, And you can see little pieces of, of flame, uh, little fires uh, flaming up and popping up as well. Uh, that's just from the water reacting with the sodium, or the sodium reacting with the water. Alright guys, thanks for coming by today and watching this with me. I hope you enjoyed it. It was a ton of fun. I always love playing with sodium, and I've got about a hundred ideas rattling around in my little brain here of different things that we can do with sodium that should be a lot of fun. Uh, so watch for future videos containing sodium. Uh, I promise they'll be a good time. Uh, anyway, if it's your first time here and you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that like button down there. Also, be sure and hit that subscribe button as well uh, and, and click the little notification bell next to that so you can change it and get all the updates from the Science Pirate because you see there's a new video that comes out every single Monday. That way you'll be the first to know when I publish a new video every Monday. Okay. Uh, anyway, thanks for coming by again. I hope you enjoyed it. And, uh, you know, aside from that, I'll catch you guys next time.